Wow, weather this weekend, naughty or nice? Oh, uh, the weather, well, it's going to be split. Mm -hmm. First half is going to mm -hmm. be pretty nice. Second half, maybe not so much. Okay. So let's dive right into it right now and talk about your weekend <laughs> forecast for you, my friends. You can see here as we look forward to the weekend, 40s both days. But we could be talking about upper 40s and almost 50s across the area because rain showers are going to be moving back in with a couple systems that we must focus on for this evening. So let's go forward here. You can see where our current temperatures are set up across the area in the 30s, upper 30s for the most part. Regional we still have some 30s and 40s to talk about here, but down south you can see we still have some warmer air that is going to be moving into our area, and that's what we're going to be talking about when it comes to Sunday, late in the day on Sunday. So two systems again that we're watching. We've been talking about this all evening long. System number two, system number one down there in Texas, and they are making their way into the Ohio River Valley for the second half of the weekend. So as we roll the clock forward here, so many things for you to watch here. You can see that trough where that blue is. Notice this blue line is going to be settling even farther down to the south. Sunday, Monday, heading into Tuesday. So deep diving of cold air heading down south and the upper levels, the southern levels, you can see we do have some southerly winds coming in. This is going to be moving in late in the day on Sunday. This is what's going to drive our temperatures up late in the day on Sunday, heading into early Monday. So we could be touching on 50s late in the day. So a warming as the day progresses on. As those two systems collide over northeast Ohio, specifically the Buckeye State, we could be talking about a few thunderstorms that will lap up. There could be some rumbles there late Sunday heading into early Monday. But once this system wraps around, this low just tracks on up to the north, we could have a quick changeover from rain showers early Monday to a mix in early afternoon and then snow showers to follow. So this is going to be a wallop of a system with snow tapering on Tuesday. By Wednesday, another system crisscrosses. That uh, northern jet is just centered right along to our northern tier. So it's kind of like a fast moving jet that is bringing all these systems straight into our area. The Wednesday system is the one that we're really watching to see how much accumulations are going to happen. But again, we do not want to ignore the system that comes in on uh, late Sunday heading into early Monday. And then we do it again, unfortunately, for Thursday night heading into Friday. Another warm to start and then rain showers and then likely some mixing and even some snow by the finish. So again, thanks to watch for you this evening. You can see there by the weekend, great Saturday, Sunday rain moves on in and watching a couple more snow potential uh, systems here. So positioning of the low is key. How much water vapor is going to be uh, wrapped into these systems and also the positioning, the water vapor and where the temperatures line up as well. All things that we must be watching as the system moves through. Now, you and your home mortgage seven day will roll out here. 40s dropping temperatures on Monday. Snow tapering wrapping around. Notice this in the 20s waking up on Tuesday as well as Wednesday and even Thursday. But we start to climb just a little bit by the end of the week, but we don't do too much rust. We get back into the upper 30s by Saturday, maybe mid 40s. Maybe that's a big maybe. Yeah, but then we go right back down by early Monday of the 13th. Yeah, looking ahead of the 13th, 40s for mid-December, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. We'll take it. We'll take it, certainly. All right, Jason, thanks.